What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to use QTE in Combat 3 to interact with objects. Now, right now we're doing an incredible flash sale which ends up today where you can get up to a 70% of discount using my coupon code gorka Furry. So go ahead and get this pack right now because it's awesome. I made a recap video uh, the other day so we want to kind of see everything that Combat 3 covers. Check that out, I'll also link it in the description. But first of all, what is QTE? Basically, it's an in animation based system to allow you to interact with other characters and environments. For example, in this case, a bridge, right? So, for example, I have this bridge where I can go and if I get to its trigger zone, I can get this really nice animation and interaction prompt where we need to perform an action and we can interact with this bridge. And if I were to actually, you know, press F, there we go. We take the bridge down and it looks super cool like if it was Uncharted or a AAA game and it's super easy to integrate into any uh, functionality, right? We can add QTEs to anything that you want. Now, for example, let's take a look at this bridge. If we open up this blueprint, right, we have some things set up. For example, a animation uh, custom event. So we will play the animation and set the bridge down, right? And the bridge will basically fall because it is a skull to mesh with its own animation, all right? Then we have you know, the logic for entering in the trigger box, as you can see, it is this one. And you know, if the bridge is not down, we will cast to the player, stop the movement, set up the bridge actor in the player, move the player, and also do all the animation. So in terms of code, it's up to you. You can do whatever you like with the system, okay? And integrate everything. But the cool thing here is where it comes to animation notifies because combat furry is very notify oriented that's why it's so easy to you know pop things in into your own animations and so on so for example if i take a look at the push montage right we can see you have this push animation we see that we have this qte notify right um and in the details panel we have all of the parameters that we can play around for example first of all the required you know key what key we want to play then the key icon, what icon we want to choose, then the event to do, which is the important thing, right? What blueprint we want to interact with, and then the time dilation. So for example, in the push bridge, we have this BP event base child, where, you know, in the success state, we will go to the character and, you know, just call the push bridge event and then push failed event, right? And you can do all of this notifies for whatever animation you want, and to whatever events you want to link it, right? That's why it's so powerful. You know, for example, here in the player, we will simply just play the animation and then go and call the bridge actor push bridge anim, which we will have a reference to that bridge actor because it's so uh, it is setting here in the uh, uh, trigger box, right? So really, it's you know you can do whatever you want, but the cool thing here is not notify where we can link everything and it's all built to be very nicely integrated right and that's a cool thing we also have the push failed event where it will do all the things that it needs and you can also move around the um, screen position around of the icon and so on the colors and you know customize it as you want which is very nice right now uh this system isn't only available for of course objects but also characters as i mentioned at the beginning of the video let's see if i go into this boss fight i am play from here you can see that when he grabs me, boom, again, we are using this system. Boom, boom, boom. That's on the failed event. But if I go and let him get again, right, and I press F, I got the success state and I do all of this. And, you know, you can basically add it to whatever you like. Imagine you want to add more types of enemies. You can do a similar thing. You could do, like, for example, there's also this um, example in Combat 3 where you can jump over and vault an object with the system itself so the possibilities are endless so that's it guys remember that right now we have an incredible flash sale ending up today in about two hours where you can you know go ahead and get 70 percent off of this um you know combat free aspect right using my coupon code gorka free link in the description uh so that's it guys found this video helpful i would really appreciate it you guys video and subscribe to my channel check out my patreon and youtube members join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all i said bye bye